Hi Gemini, this is Char speaking uh, from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your romance reading for June 2020. I'm using the uh, Shadowland Tarot uh, from Monica Bordurski and I hope you've watched your weekly because I've used them in there as well and then you will have heard the good news uh, and the fun news there will be a competition coming along and go and have a look and keep in touch and keep an eye on the website and the community tab in YouTube and you can also win the vice versa as soon as I finish the romance readings I will be making a video with all the uh, details on how to join besides being a member okay and uh, l if you would like a one-on-one -on -one reading then please uh, look below the video you can find details there or go to the website and there's a little white dot in the right hand corner and click on that and it will take you to the website okay I'm using the Shadowland Tarot and I'm using the um, uh, Enchanted Dreams uh, Tarot and I'm also using the Angel Feathers and the Romantic uh, deck, uh, Oracle deck okay so let's have a look what we have in store I hope you're all well and safe and thank you very much my Cyber Angels for your loyalty and uh, following me and your support um, uh, as well as watching the videos as coming into the live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. If you are new, please join us there on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Click on the uh, subscribe and the bell on all, then you'll be uh, informed or notified when something new happens on YouTube channel. The first card, Gemini, that you have is the King of Swords. So um, whether you're a woman or a man, it doesn't matter, you're in your element. And we are already in Gemini, um, because I'm taping this in May, but we're already in Gemini. So for those that have a birthday, happy birthday. The King of Swords is Gemini, and that could, but don't exclude Libra or Aquarium so you're in your element you um, the king of um, Gemini means that you might be seeking wisdom and you know a lot but you're eager to learn more and more you can communicate like nobody else in the zodiac signs you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos you um, you are you might be well read because of this, the issue of wisdom, but you might also have a career in mu in the municipalities or institutions, like a teacher, or a headmaster, or a bookkeeper, or an advocate, a lawyer, or it could even be a surgeon, because the swords cut. You could be a hairdresser or a butcher. If you're not and uh, it is not doesn't resonate with you then you might meet a king of swords Gemini you might be meeting an other Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarium you've also got the king of Pentacles and like I said you have knowledge you know how to invest but you are quite uh, sometimes you don't stop to think and the king of pentacles does so perhaps you have air in your chart so you will invest carefully you might start a new investment you might partner up with the king of pentacles which is taurus taurus is slow but steady they invest for long term that some within something that has durability and is for the long term that will bring back a rediment okay will bring back its return now the queen of pentacles has green fingers and she nurtures everything the king of pentacles has the meters touch so everything that he touches turns to gold okay this could be buying a house and doing it up this could be, uh, um, be flipping houses buying houses and flip them and reselling them okay 
This could be an estate agent, this could be a farmer, this could be a gardener, something that somebody that toils with their hands, more of a practical person than a, knowledge, uh, a person that works with books. So it could also be a bookkeeper which works with his hands because he writes a lot. Okay. Um, it might be a banker, it might be a cashier, it might be a tiller, it might be a bookie. Okay. Um, so you could be meeting an air sign or a king if you are not hooked up. If you are hooked up with either, then it is for long term and you've invested wisely in each other. The earth sign will slow the air sign down and the air sign will have to bear that in mind that the earth signs are somewhat slower because they want to make sure of everything. And you know, you're a good couple, you can be a good couple um, because the one will slow the other one down or let the other one know hold on, hold on, I'm still here, okay? This could be um, a lady um, that is practical and is career orientated. This could be a lady, um, if it isn't a man, because they're both kings, and the status, mean, um, the, the, the status of king means that you are the king, you've reached the top. Now you can only become an emperor or an empress. So uh, it could be uh, somebody that works in institutions and is w uh, wise but quick. He wants a quick turnover. He's spontan and spontaneous, especially if they are Gemini. Libra will uh, weigh things up and uh, Aquarius just is in between. But they are not like the fire signs. They, will th they are logic. These people will fight until death and jump into something sometimes without thinking it through but with the combination of these two you will think things through it could be with a new relationship um, like I said it could be a new partnership it could be in business but I think it is more in love because this is also the romance reading and you've got the ace of cups so your cup is going to uh, run over not with tears, although it stands for emotions, emotions are also laughter. And look at the fish, he's got a little trumpet, doot, 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 doot. announcement perhaps, or perhaps it is blowing the trumpet uh, for celebrations. Perhaps you might be going out with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. These are also loving, nurturing, passionate people. They are also sensual and sexual. Okay, so is Gemini, because you've got the best of both worlds. Sometimes you don't know who you come home to. <laughs> so there is never a dull moment, and that's what uh, the earth signs can't cope with. But I think that if you hook up Gemini with a water sign, then this could be a very spir uh, spiritual <coughs> and, in oh, sorry, an intuitive uh, a person. Definitely a person um, that is emotional. So if they are um, a knave or a knight, they might not just have their emotions under control as much as a queen or king. So uh, they have to learn that to, to uh, how far they can go and know their boundaries and with their emotions, definitely. There are, is plans that you're making so perhaps you are making plans to meet somebody perhaps you're busy online okay because this is the air sign and you see him writing but not with a quill anymore nowadays it, it, with the computer so perhaps you are um, dating online or flicking th through the dating scene online you are making plans for the future um, perhaps you're making plans on how to meet the next person or perhaps you are hooked up and you are trying to make plans on what next with regarding to investments and ideas, new ideas, perhaps flipping houses, make it your own business and perhaps you want to do that with a water sign, air sign or an earth sign. You are pathing your way or perhaps partnerships, okay. 
I do feel there is um, definitely a lot of work and uh, for uh, long term you are thinking and making plans for the future so I think you want to take care of your partner as well as you can or your potential partner there might be somebody coming back from the past it could be um, the king of pentacles could be um, a Taurus but it could also be a Virgo or a Capricorn well you know um, the saying in the olden days they used to pickle everything in a barrel what is in the barrel will never go sour or will never go off that's the saying we have in Holland what is in the barrel you know what is in the barrel and it and because it's pickled it will not go off that is that's the way how they preserved food uh, in the olden days by pickle like the vinegar or with salt and nowadays we've got the refrigerator <coughs> so you know what is in the barrel so you know what if there is a person that wants to get back with you from the past then you know what they are and you know how they are and what they do and then I get another idea in my head I get to hear a fox sheds his fur but not his streaks so they most probably won't have changed they will always stay the same and you can't change anybody know that German Gemini you can accept them back into your life but you're also accepting back into your life what you left behind and you are busy making plans for the future and you're investing in the future so is it wise to take somebody back from the past you are in balance now do you want to be out of balance and you've got the five of cups you can't cry over spilled milk you might be thinking about the the past but you're most probably thinking about the good thoughts and not about the bad memories because we forget the bad memories much quicker than the good thoughts when we get in one of these moods and thinking back to the past we sort of remember how romantic it was how fantastic it was how beautiful it was and how one how entwined you were but why did you leave them if you have left them these this is for the ones that are divorced or left a relationship and you cannot you can think about the past but don't cry about the past it's your life <coughs> you've outgrown them or they have outgrown you and you've learned from it don't go back there and don't go back to the same lessons you are in your balance you are in the six it might be nice to see them just say hi and how are you if that is how far you want to go and just keep on walking forward okay leave behind what has happened don't even go there you're building a beautiful secure future and you will have a you have competition by the looks of it you have choices like the five of cups two let's have a look I think it's three that's fallen over or is it three standing uh, three fallen over so you've got two standing look at the two that ha are standing perhaps you might have a choice of two different types of pers people choose most probably if you want um, a steady slow trustworthy uh, s uh, person that takes step by step and plods along and go for the earth sign if you want an exciting person passionate and loving but also loyal but also um, very different and they can change like the wind because they are air signs or somebody that is steady but can be uh, can also uh, change their moods because flow water goes where it can't uh, where, what, where other things can't go so go with the flow in both cases with the air sign and the water sign go with the flow 
with the uh, water sign it might be easier for a lot of people because a lot of people don't understand a lot of the air signs that was in the third week so you might uh, fall back into the 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 old pattern I haven't got this I haven't got that I was Johnny or uh, Max or Derek or whatever was here don't go there go and find an angel okay you've also got the Queen of Pentacles so you've got a couple so definitely there will be a coupling up this month for most of you okay the Queen could be a, a king of pentacles yeah it could be a king of pentacles but a, with a nurturing side a more of a feminine side as the queen of pentacles stands for mother earth like the empress she stands for fertility so the ground is fertile to start something new or go up to the next level even if you're parted up if you're not pregnant then perhaps you are wishing to be pregnant then now is the time to get pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions if you are mature you might hear of a birth this could be of a pregnancy or of a child or of a new project like buying that house doing that investment okay it will grow it will blossom it will take time but it will also harvest you've got the ace of pentacles so the earth signs are very prominent and it looks more to me like a business um, adventure and I'm getting to hear more to have for later on you want to build something perhaps a legacy um, you want to build something with a partner that's practical that c you can do the uh, you if as the Gemini can do the bookkeeping can do the arithmetics and uh, get things strategically on the road also lawfully you know which loopholes to jump through lawfully and if you don't you will find out so that the money will grow quickly and surely you are made for each other and you've got the ace of pentacles again moving home making a new investment this could be in work in a business in a home in something totally different than what you're used to that is what i'm hearing uh, it is a transformational period wow this could be with any of the pentacle signs predominantly taurus You've also got the Queen of Wands, so you could be meeting the Queen of Wands as Leo, but don't exclude Sagittarius or Aries. This lady, she, yeah, she's hiding her face in this deck, and I think that's quite funny, because she has ideas, and she might not uh, want anybody to know what her ideas are, but she is ready her luck is on her side because she's got the black cat and she's got the pom uh, well it might be daisies here but she usually if the red uh, flowers means the pomegranates the forbidden fruit she will go for what she wants whether you know uh, she's in connection with spirit um, the horns means she's also um, her animal her animal th uh, feeling um, nature is coming up she will go for anything she wants no wild horses will drag her away from her ideas she's like the lioness she is the king of her kingdom or the queen of her kingdom she rules okay doesn't matter if she's got an idea she's also knows how to to get to that idea because she's creative she's passionate about it and she'll drop everything else so long as she gets what she wants and this could be a Leo but it could also be a Sagittarius or an Aries you could meet this lady or this could be you you might want this investment differently um, 
desperately or definitely because you want to make a pension in an uh, in a different way than the standard pension you want something for later and look at this there will be celebrations Gemini the investment you're going to make is going to bring in the bucks and then you've got the nine of cups your wish is coming true but now uh, for now you need to advice is to take time out meditate contemplate about business or contemplate about this love relationship is it worth your while is this what you want can you handle uh, a slow steady person or do you want a quick and shift person like yourself uh, your soulmate because Gemini let's face it um, when we fall in love we fall in love head line uh, um, what is it called uh, head line and sink or something like that sink head and line or something head sink and line yes we fall boom so learn from the past don't go to the past don't let look look at what you don't have don't compare the new person if you're not hooked up and you meet one don't uh, uh, compare the person with the past learn from the past that is what you do with evaluation look at a person for what they are and take a 360 degree turnaround something totally different than what you're used to if you've been out with a Virgo or a Taurus then take the water or the air sign go for something totally different if you've been with an uh, with an air sign then go for the, uh, for the earth sign or the water sign and the same with the water sign go for something different don't make the same mistakes okay these two cards are telling you you cannot change the past you can only change the present and the future go for something different but put all your values on a list and see who comes out the top what kind of, of job does he do where does he live what uh, are his hobbies what uh, if he's uh, let's say he goes to the pub and listen and looks at the football uh, football every Saturday and his mates come round you won't have any time with him or her then uh, there could be somebody that wants to go to the races or wants to go uh, bird watching at four o'clock in the morning and sits there with his binoculars in a book is that what you want go and see what you like in your life and see what your potential new beautiful partner could be or uh, how you can make your life more exciting because I know Gemini we love the excitement we love the adventure but we like to canoodle with our partners they're ours and we are theirs now for the angel feather uh, card you've got the rose angel feather a blessing for your home like I said you might be investing in a home you might be flipping homes you might love to just um, get a blessing for your home you might get extra money you might see a return on an investment and you might be extending and then you might be moving on for to an other investment and the angels have heard your invitation to be present in and around your home there are about to bestow a blessing of love on your home and its occupants the rose angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of angelic house blessing the angels know that home is where the heart is definitely with us Gemini within a loving home there is a deep affection patience and true love especially if you are um, the dog in the Chinese uh, astrological sign loyalty and trust I think that's amazing how these zodiac signs and cards come together a dog is also patient children are tough the important importance of sharing love 
kindness and respect. The angels bestow this blessing to your home to balance energies within it and to protect it. Carefully place the rose quartz specimens throughout your home and will maintain this loving angelic energy. Remember each night to call on the archangels and angels to stand guard at your doors. The angels love to be of service and love happy, healthy, loving homes. Other symbols of the Rose Quartz Angel are healing, peace, health and self-love. You can't love anybody else if you don't love yourself. You can carry Rose Quartz, Rhodochrosite and Kunsite and Morganite and the Archangel Haniel and the angel of harmonious love and that's the heart and archangel Raguel cooperation and harmony in families the last card that you have Gemini is forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past oh my goodness yes 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 you experienced more love in your present moments and that is in the third week release release and go on beautiful closure to a beautiful reading I hope you have enjoyed this reading remember take time out contemplate meditate stand in your strength you are making a future for yourself okay you're planning a future and whether you want to bring somebody in or stay with somebody and do something exciting with somebody your partner then go for it keep the communication going okay and some signs might not be so talkative like the earth signs or water signs so make them know that you like to discuss plans okay take care stay safe and uh, if i hope to see you in the live sessions monday wednesday or friday and if not i would love to see you back in the next video and remember um, if you would like to win or have a chance to win or uh, the tarot cards then keep an eye on the community tag um, in YouTube and or the website. Love you all. Bye bye James. Please share and like. Thank you.